Hi all, Ian here. In this video I'm going to show you like, how to do this little tiny micro project which is just stamping objects on a sphere and then using a map to control which ones are shown and which ones aren't. I'm actually going to use this to scale them down but you could use it to turn them off um, in the visibility channel. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'll just open the uh, starting point which is a big black sphere and then a tiny yellow dot. So um, if I just uh, select the tiny yellow dot and go, it's just a cube, and then go create mesh network. And then in the distribute node here, over in mesh settings down here, if I just middle mouse drag this um, sphere onto the input mesh, that's going to put us into scatter mode. So if I just um, if I just up the number of points, you'll see we've got 100 points being scattered on there. I could have 1,000 if I wanted to. Or easy, you could have 10,000 if you wanted to. Um, so um, you can see how it's going to take a while to fill the sphere. Um, so you could either scatter them like this, or you could do something like um, have them appear on the vertices, or you could have them appear on uh, face centers, um, or random face centers, um, or you could have them appear in face centers, and then you can hit this flood mesh button, which will just add one to every single face center on on the um, on the sphere. Um, again, uh, you can do that for the same for uh, vertices as well, um, and uh, obviously also edges. So which gives you even more. Um, so let's stick with Vertex and we've got Flood Mesh turned on and then what we can do is, it's very simple, we're just going to add a mute node to the scale channel and what this will do is it, it will enable us to just scale these down to nothing. Um, and uh, what we can do is use a map to control this. Uh, so if we just add a texture and the texture we're going to add is this earth specular here which um, which uh, is a um, just a black and white map of the planet. I'll show you it, hold on. There you go, that's the map. So um, you'll see that uh, it's kind of all stretched and all a bit weird. And uh, when you um, add a map to MASH, uh, if I just go find the mute node, where did it go? There it is. Um, the map direction here is just set to Y and we don't want that. We want to use UVs because we want to use the uh, UVs of this um, of this sphere which are just kind of a one-to-one -one block really. I just did a spherical, I just did a spherical um, UV mapping and then, and then d didn't even bother to clean it up. So, uh, uh, but yeah, you just want um, uh, a one-to-one -one map and then what we're going to do is we're going to go onto that mute node there and we're going to drag the um, the sphere here into the map helper slot and that'll automatically switch us to UV mode and because the UVs were laid out in a well in a way that means that the map makes sense uh, it means that we get our um, our results the result that we were after which is our map of the world uh, and then if I just hide the uh, original object there um, uh, if I just hide the original black sphere that we're stamping over, uh, this is the result. And of course, uh, you can go back onto the waiter and then obviously change the um, change the uh, type of distribution if you want to have um, a lot more objects. Like say, choose the uh, choose the uh, edge edge version. There you go. Um, so that is our um, yeah, that's our kind of finished product. Um, uh, yeah, so nice and easy as you can see. Uh, 